Hey, and welcome to video number five. We're going to talk about the profile pick, which is a fairly quick and easy uh, portion of the Facebook timeline. So I just want to run through fairly quickly here, but I want to also give you some tips and tricks. The bottom left image below the cover image is the profile pick. The tip is to aim for a 180 by 180 pixel size because what's going to happen is Facebook is going to show it at a 32 by 32 pixel. The rule of thumb is if you go from a larger picture and it decreases to a smaller picture then what happens is it retains the quality. But if you go from a smaller picture shown as a larger picture and you make it bigger then it creates that fuzziness you know how you've seen videos and images that have that fuzzy quality that's why so you definitely want to aim for a larger number so we're going to create a 180 by 180 picture now the profile pick is fairly small so you definitely want to utilize this space as much as possible now what you want to do is you want to choose a profile pick that shows your logo, your product, or you. So what is it? If the cover image does not show your logo, then you definitely want to show your logo. If your cover image shows your logo and a couple other images, you may want to show your end product. Like for example, in the Coca-Cola sample, the cover image had a happy person holding you know, Coca-Cola products. But the profile pic itself appealed to the senses and showed the end product. So you can do that or you can choose a profile pic that describes your product or service basically what people want or desire out of your product. You know what are their fears and so forth. And people should be able to see this clearly. That's why we want to start from a big one to a small picture. So Let's hop on over to paint.net, which is a program at getpaint.net. Okay, so in the previous video, I showed you where to get paint.net. And like I said earlier, with Macintosh users, you, there's a lot of free software out there, graphics editors that you can use. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is hop on over to bigstopphoto.com or any other royalty-free site and find an image that best describes your company or the end product. Let's say for example that you are a restaurant and you sell salads. So in this case we're going to go to bigstockphoto.com and find a royalty free image that best describes a salad. So pick and choose that, go ahead and download that and once you download the image you need to simply choose the image now in this case I'm not gonna use salad I'm just gonna choose a picture and if you go back here all you need to do is click on file new make sure that the pixel width is 180 the pixel height is 180 click on OK so we need to make sure that this is the size here and all you need to do is simply exactly what we did earlier if we drag and drop this over here click on open click on edit select all edit copy edit paste and keep canvas size and of course we're going to need to minimize this so it looks like this and that's it and of course don't forget to save it and then upload this file as the profile pic